Hey you, welcome back to my channel. I am on the other side of the camera. This is Rachel out here at the doll shop in Colorado. And I want to share something with you. I think you might enjoy it. A wonderful uh, local just brought us two sweet little dolls. This is a composition uh, Judy Garland doll. She has, she is very sweet. She has a couple issues. Her little eyeballs got got a little crackly over the years, but what's wonderful about this doll is she does have her original Judy Garland outfit, and she is in relatively really good condition. The other doll that came, and they came together, and they belonged to the people who brought them her, her great aunt, and this is a sweet Shirley Temple. Look at this sweet girl. It looks like her leg's been touched up a little bit right there but her hair is in wonderful condition and she is just so cute. So I really wanted to share these dolls with you, especially this Judy Garland right here. They are really wonderful. So that is the first thing. Now, they also brought this wonderful antique scrapbook. And I thought it might be just a fun thing this afternoon to just go through it and look at some of the wonderful ephemera and the things that are in this scrapbook. So uh, just right off the bat, this cover I think is just beautiful. And this is just how it arrived. Right now I'm just, I'm at the shop working on our subscriptions actually. Let me show you some of the, some of the stuff I've done. We have some subscriptions in here and then we have a lot of them in here and then they go in other boxes, but we'll, we'll do a full unboxing video this Thursday is when we're going to do that. But let's look at this scrapbook right now. So the cover, I think, is just gorgeous. And then look at this. Edna from Uncle Ed, Christmas 1885. Isn't this wonderful? As soon as I got it, I said, I have to share this with you. I wasn't even planning on doing a video today, but this is the wonderful thing about our life is that we can just do what we want, right? So Look, this is large. The, these are, I don't know how big these are, but it's a, this is pretty big. But this is just beautiful. Look at the graphics and the color. The little cat that's trying to get the bird. Gosh, it's just so gorgeous. The wonderful thing about you is that I know you appreciate this. So I get to just immediately share things with you. So there's all kinds of wonderful little almost like, I guess, postcards. I mean, but they're so pretty. You know what I'm already thinking? We could scan these and reproduce them so that you can have them. Look at this. Look at the little, sweet little baby with the big St. Bernard. There's a little girl getting a letter from her dog. The people that brought this said it it was their their great aunts who just really loved to scrapbook and i just think that is so sweet the pages are not in the book anymore but they are here so the yeah they are fragile but they are actually in really good condition which is why i'm showing them to you now i think it's they're just really beautiful So if you were here with me right now in the doll shop, we'd be looking at this scrapbook. That's what we'd be doing. Isn't that cute? She's getting a flower from her bow. I don't know what this is about. They're taking the, they're, they don't seem to be happy to be taking the little baby somewhere, but. <laughs> This one is, this is pretty. Hanging out in the swing. Are from this place called Boots and Shoes. A lot of, a lot of companies did a lot of wonderful graphics and, and things to, to market themselves, just like we do today. Just like, oh, all the little postcards. See, it's very fragile. Look, I just pulled that. So I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna pull it from the side. Luckily, it didn't touch the, the artwork. So I think it, they came from like advertising because she covered up the advertising with little flowers. 
pretty ingenious. I like that. Get rid of that advertising. Just, yeah. They probably came in the mail. A lot of the wonderful scraps that are even on my mother's tree are made from Victorian scraps like this. So you can put them in a scrapbook, but also you can make scrap ornaments and they're just wonderful. These are large. Look at this. The colors are some of the most vibrant I've seen in a really long time though. Really pretty, doesn't it? Don't you just feel like you're in the 1800s right now? If you love looking at old scrapbooks, let me know. I think it's a lot of fun and it's a way to time travel and just meet somebody and see what was important to them. Look at all these little heads. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I should just ship this whole book to Diana Vining and we can we can re we can literally reproduce these as downloads. Caroline said, are there any kitties? Caroline, let's look. Let's go on a treasure hunt. There's a lot of doggies. There's a lot of doggies. So cute. Looks like she's sharing her sugar from her tea party and then her her nana or her grandma's like looking, saying, don't you be sharing that sugar with those dogs. So cute. I love the, look at the blue and white tea set. Isn't that pretty? And the way it matches her little blue and white dress and look at her shoes. Oh, look, it's called Take Sugar. Oh, so cute. Yeah, those dogs will take it, but hopefully she didn't give it to them. Oh, look at this one up here. The two little girls holding their dolly. Oh my gosh. So sweet. Here's a kitty, Caroline. Right here, girl. We got a kitty. This is one, what are these things called that you blow into the fire to create bigger flames? Oh, I forgot what they're called, but you, you, you out, you know what it is. I love all the ones with the children and the dolls though. Look at that. Maybe that's a wax doll. Maybe it's a bisque doll. It's probably a bisque doll. It looks, it looks more like a bisque doll to me. I wish you a happy birthday. And some flowers, a bellows, thank you. Thank you. See, you guys are so smart. Anything I don't know, I just ask you. Let's see. Happy birthday. The flowers are pretty. If we scanned those, then we could just add them as like little embellishments and put cabinets and things. Look at this chap. He looks like ready for Valentine's Day to bring you some flowers. Love his outfit with those little bows. Papa's pet. Love his expression. So cute. All right. It's kind of... Here we go. This is Little Sunshine. Look at those boots though. Yellow and red is my new favorite combination. Love that. We can get a lot of great costuming ideas, style ideas, all kinds of things from these wonderful scraps. Wow, look at this. Here's more kitties. This is a big page. Yes, Vicki said, I love the flowers. I use them to make ornaments. Yes, absolutely. Before we finish our looking at this scrapbook, we'll toodle on over because I have to show you a couple of things on the other side of the room since we're speaking, um, talking about scraps right now. There's something that I know you'll love. It'll give you a good idea for a project if you want a good project. Look at this Valentine or card. Let's see if we can... I'm a little one-handed here, but 
Oh, there's the inside of the card. Time on restless wings speeds swiftly by. Days, weeks, and months roll on as clouds before the sun. In changeless sky, many blessings have for thee an open door. A future bright for thee is that my wish will be forevermore. There's the front of the card. Isn't that sweet? My goodness. Love that. Love that. Okay, let's see what's on the next page. Look at how beautiful. Oh my goodness, there's a little damage right there. Oh man, we need to get that off right here because I almost feel like I could. I have to look at that with two hands, but look at that. So Diana Viting just got on the video, and Diana, I just got the most amazing 1880s scrapbook. And girl, I'm already thinking of the things we can do with these images. Look at this wonderful bow on the front. Just take screenshots, everybody, because dressing your dolls like this, it's such a good idea. Like if you're wondering how to dress your dolls for period fashion, you can look at a lot of this type of thing and get really good ideas. Look at these Valentines. To the one I love, friendship. And these you can get these wonderful lace and trims and you can totally make these. You can totally make these. I have a lot of downloads that are, that are like this. If you guys are looking for any of these like lacy like embellishments, because you can you can download that and print it. You just have to get it printed on good paper with like nice vibrant ink, and then you can back it on just some red paper, and you can make wonderful little valentines. Let's see here. The colors are amazing, which is why I just. As soon as as soon as it came here, I haven't even I haven't even taken it off the counter and, and it came wrapped in this towel. I said I have to show you. <laughs> I have to show you because I know you will appreciate it. A happy Christmas. Yes, I love the roses too. I love roses. Oh, look how beautiful. This is a boot store. Look at his boots. Those are wonderful. I love the red socks. He's coming a calling. It might even be a girl. Very sweet. Oh, goodness. Look at this outfit. Okay. If you're doing costuming, Get you some black and yellow striped fabric and make you a skirt with a big bow on the back, a red jacket, a red hat with a flower, and make this outfit. So beautiful. This looks so modern. It makes me just want to go out and get a black and yellow skirt and pair it with like a red silk top don't you think look at this little doll look at how wonderful oh my goodness this this is my favorite fashion so far don't be surprised if you see me in that outfit <laughs> look at these very sweet Look at this girl. Look at her expression. Oh, that's so sweet. Share the video so that your other friends can see this and hopefully catch us live. That's one of the, that's one of the fun parts. Look at this, how beautiful. Look, I'm gonna pull back so you can see both pages. Look at that. It's just so vibrant. Let me just get down so you can I do have overhead lights, so there is a little bit of a glare, but let me see if I can just kind of move it. But I'm getting close enough that I feel like you can almost like feel the pages. Love that. Okay, let's, let's 
move on to the next page. Look at how beautiful. Yeah, if these were scanned correctly, you could put them, you could get them put on canvases, like the wonderful canvas we have in our bathroom. You can really, if you've got a nice, vibrant, good quality image, you can have them produced and then put them on your wall or, or make little paper materials or downloads. But okay, so that's the end of the book, but I want to show you a couple of things. And there again is the cover. So great. So I want to show you this room divider that somebody made out of Victorian scraps. I don't think I've ever shown you this in person. Let me just move these boxes out of the way. This is a to totally unplanned video, but you know what? Sometimes our unplanned videos are actually the best. So let me pull back a little bit. But this room divider, one of my friends, Aaron, actually, you know Aaron very well, he found this at an estate sale and I thought it was such a fun little idea. And we use this, like right now, I have it because it's covering up our feather tree to protect it just from... It's just, we need to be, have it protected. And it's just, it's such a fun little, it's just a fun little way to, it just, it just works. Don't you think? It's just a fun, just, it's, you look at it and there's all kinds of fun things to look at. And so maybe this could be an idea for you. Like if you want to do a room divider or you want to make a doll size room divider, you could cover it in a bunch of Victorian scraps and you know, put it in your house or in your doll, in your closet or your doll room or, or whatever you want to do. So, I mean, how perfect is it to, to show this to you after getting that great scrapbook? Look at that. So I feel like maybe we could do like a printable pack or something. You can get a lot of these just even on the internet for free and get started. And if you have big ones, you can just scale them down, but also you can go like online, like on Etsy or even on eBay and buy antique scrapbooks that people have for sale because you can actually get them for really good deals if you find the right one. And you can make them out of real scraps if you wanted to. So that's a good idea there. And so while I have you, let me just tootle over. We have, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna do, actually do a little bit of off-roading because we have to squeeze through these boxes right here. Let's just tootle on over, but I'm gonna show you. And I, sh I show, I guess it's my tree now, but I still call it mom's tree. This, here you can see how a lot of the scraps were made into ornaments. This big one's one of my favorites. Look at that. So I guess if we want more scrap ornaments on our tree, we could probably just use what we just received in that scrapbook right there. But this is a way you can really do it and just make it look real and authentic and wonderful. This is a Dresden ornament. So when you hear people talk about Dresden paper, this is what it looks like. So look at this as closely as you can and just kind of get a feel for the paper. Let me see if we can, there's a bear, dressed in paper. This is a turkey. They look like this. These are really rare, really rare. And if you can find them, they're wonderful. And you never know where you're gonna find them because a lot of people don't even know what it is. Here's a fish. And then if you look back, you can see the grizzly bear. They're just wonderful. But look at the little scrap ornaments throughout. So we have just little ones and big ones of all different sizes. So you can make these by reproducing them by getting just downloads off of the internet and, and cutting them out on thick paper, cardboard paper, or just like, you know, thick paper. And you can make these and add little embellishments and do different things. Or if I were you and you're inspired by this, <laughs> go online go on eBay and go on Etsy and go on Craigslist and see if you can find some Victorian scrapbooks and buy them and use them for your projects. You know, why not? This is a big, this is not an expensive, this was just, I don't know where you can buy these. I, she might've even made it. Look, it's just wood 
and it's just put together with just not, not, what do you call it? Fancy fasteners. So you could almost, you could go get wood at Home Depot or wherever you can get wood, get it cut into panels. If you have the capability, a lot of times they'll cut it there for you. Get brackets, fasteners to fasten it together, paint it black, and then add all of your Victorian scraps. And then we'll be matchy matchy, right? Okay, I wanna see you do it or do it small for your dolls. All right, well, if you enjoyed this idea and the scrapbook video, give it a share so your friends out there can see it. Hinges, Julie, Julie, thank you. I call, I'm calling them brackets, hinges, thank you. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you can't think of like a normal wor word, like garage door or orange or banana you know what I mean like it and I can think of like really big words and then sometimes I just can't even think of like a word so just just know that it's normal if it happens to you just know that it's normal <laughs> it happens to all of us where you can't think of like shoe I mean I don't know but anyway uh we're gonna go I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and look out for me on Thursday because we're going to do an unboxing video of our boxes. Check them out. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun. I can't wait to share it with you. And we're going to do we're going to be chatting about some stuff. So, yes, I hope this was inspiring and I'll see you very 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 soon. Bye everybody.